Wait, show me that you care. Wait for it. The paper life? <laughs> I'm going to go with it. Welcome back, Facebook. Uh, this is Adam Sawyer, professional gentleman of leisure. And today we are doing the Whidbey Working Artist Open Studio Tours, and I'm finally out into uh, some of these studios. Actually, I'm, I'm still in Coopville, but kind of up in the hills, in the, in the beautiful countryside surrounding that downtown area. And I'm going to be interviewing Mike Wise, uh, who has generously uh, allowed us to come in and, and interfere with this process. Uh, Mike is a phenomenal uh, artist working in paint, as you can see. Um, and so I wanted to ask you, Mike, where are you based out of? You're, you're based out of Coopville, right? Coopville. Okay, yeah, we're just talking about Coopville. Excellent. It's, it's right near Penn Cove, the and, tip of Penn Cove. And you picked a, uh, a beautiful spot. Yes. That's a great area <laughs> for inspiration. And, and speaking of inspiration, so what, what brought you to paint as a medium, as, a, as opposed to like wood or glass? Mm, probably the immediacy mm. of it. I mean, you can immediately put down, um, you know, your shapes and tones and lines and get, you know, a result just right there in front of you. But then you have color too. Right. So color, if it's, you know, really bright and cold color, that's what I like. So I can achieve both of those things through paints. And oil so rich. Right. And, and instantaneous. Yeah. You know. uh, well, speaking of, like, you, you've got sunflowers here. What is... I guess, what, what brings inspiration to you? How do you pick your subject? How does it call to you, I guess, or do you pick it? No, I pick it usually, but it's, um, I'm not too interested in the subject per se for what it is. It's yeah. more or less the shapes and the colors that I'm interested in. So it could be boats, it could be flowers, it could be lily pads, yeah. what have you. If it's got the right shape and color. Yeah, a lot of bold color, energetic color and shapes. Does light matter to you in terms, well, like, so for example, here in the Pacific Northwest, we tend to, I, I take photos, landscape photos a lot, and we have that wonderful diffused lighting, uh, <laughs> like almost studio lighting a yeah. lot of the year, kind of like we have right now. Does that affect inspiration for you or what you're choosing to pick? If the light is right or if it's bad, you're like, yeah, I'm not going to paint that. And that light's well, what you like is lighting a photographer. I don't like it. Oh, because oh. you can't paint in it as well because you're... Um, values are more compressed, your lights right. and darks are not as extreme, and you end up with a more tonal, moody gotcha. type picture, which is fine, some yeah. folks are going for that, but you don't get this type of effect with that nice, diffused, the bright, you know. you're getting highlights yeah. out of there, which, which you're bringing to life quite well right there, I must say. Thank you. Um, in terms of, of, of the art scene here, you know, I've, we've been walking around doing these interviews now, uh, yesterday and today, this morning, and you know, I've been on islands before. You know, I've been to Key West. I've, I've done some island travels in my day. And artists tend to, to pull, or I should say, islands tend to pull artists in general or, or kind of a creative culture. Mm -hmm. But there's something different on Whidbey, I've noticed. And I can't quite put my finger on it. To your mind, what is it about, maybe, maybe it's even Coopville or Whidbey Island uh, in general, that kind of fosters this amazing like, creative culture? I, I haven't given a lot of thought yeah. actually to, to that <laughs> in, entirely. I, I do know that uh, the artists like a more quiet, rural type scene generally. As far yeah. as artists that are are creating this type of work that you would exhibit in galleries yeah. and such, uh, they need a more, I guess, a quiet area to, to work and yeah. live. I, they just prefer it, I guess. And that's you, what I think. You've got a great spot for that here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, th I think you picked well. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, speaking of the spot, I'm going to let Mike take us on a little bit of a tour. I'm going to do the old camera switcheroo here. And if you'll take us on a walk around the, uh, around the, the studio here and show okay. us some of, some of your art. Okay. Well, we've got some pictures over here. Oh, great. Yeah. Le nice. Take me to your leader. Lit up here. Uh, well, this is one that I just finished recently here. Well, actually, most of these I just finished recently. But uh, this piece I like here with the sweet peas and the abalone shell. Uh, trying to get the, the iridescence of the shell was quite the challenge. But I can like, imagine. For this, what drew me to this, I said shape and color. I like these uh, this color palette together, these violets and pinks uh, and some greens and turquoise, I think it looks nice. I like the shapes and the edges, these nice sharp edges, contrasted with these shapes here. 
And then the, the bold color of the nectarine back there really offsets all these, you know, cooler tones. So you add a little bit of warmth in there, and it, and it creates a little more vibrancy to the picture. Awesome. Yeah, like this one here also um, just finished too. Uh, what I like about this is the textures back here and the, um, I don't know, like, what are these things called? Stems? Of the, yeah. Yeah, all these dried stems from the onions, the textures built in there. Uh, against the sunflowers, the bright yellows, against the blues. It's just got a lot of vibrancy and energy to it. So I see what you're talking about with regards to um, the, the light being different for what you mm -hmm. prefer as, yeah. as opposed to what like a landscape photographer prefers. You've got those amazing highlights in there. Strong, strong lighting. Uh, like this picture here, this is a waterfall. See this, um, you know, you would want Oh, see, that's a nightmare for me. Lighting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that turns out to be really contrasty in your photo. Right, exactly. But I can change it with my paints. That's amazing. See, I, that, that never dawned on me before that um, the light for landscape photography is just a totally different, different affair because right. you're like accentuating mm -hmm. that. You're pulling those highlights and, and to see what you're able to do, those sunflowers in particular mm -hmm. just pop like mad. Generally what happens is your photos under diffused light end up looking like this. Right. Whereas yeah. if you took the photo under these conditions, it's, it's all contrasty <laughs> and blown out. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to uh, thank Mike uh, for taking the time uh, to hang out with us and visit us, take time from his studio, uh, which by the way, uh, it is the Whidbey Working Artist Studio Tour this weekend. So all day today and tomorrow, you can come down, visit folks like Mike in their studio and actually watch the creative process. You can learn about uh, light like I did today. That uh, crummy light for me is great, great light for folks like Mike. Uh, and actually, actually talk to him uh, and enjoy it. Uh, that's all day today, all day tomorrow. If you're not able to make it out uh, to the island this weekend, go to uh, whidbeworkingartist.com. That's hard for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> whidbeworkingartist.com and you can download that brochure. Uh, so you can actually see some of the art and be inspired uh, by that art from your sofa, uh, like I, I, I am more often than not, uh, and then come out next year. But uh, more interviews. We've got one more today at, uh, what, is, what is it now, 10 o'clock? Is this 10 o'clock already? Uh, 10, 30. Yeah, we've, we've got uh, one more at 11. Uh, Katrina Hude is, uh, works in glass, and then we've got more tomorrow. Uh, so thanks again. I thank really you. appreciate it. Oh. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, thank, thanks again to, to Mike Wise. I appreciate you taking the time. And uh, we'll see you guys in about an hour. Thank Enjoy. You.